What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Lou back at it again with my team video. Today's my team video is on another episode of No Money Spent, but today's episode is a little bit different. It was gonna be unlimited, actually, no, it was gonna be draft, but a new card that came out for Triple Threat Online. I actually want to try to literally get him because he looks like he's a beast. I'll put his stats up on the screen right now. But if you guys are brand new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 375 subscribers by the end of March. You guys have been showing crazy support lately. I appreciate it. And like the video. It's free, man. I hope you boy out. But let's get right into it. So basically, we're waiting on the dentist still because I believe that comes out tomorrow. Um, so hopefully, like, those cards are not too expensive because the majority of these, like, Wilt and them are still, like, pretty damn expensive. I'll look at them again. I haven't really checked their prices today. Um, but yeah, literally, they're still going for a 100k bid. And Jerry West is probably still at 100k. Like, Jerry West is at 222,000. Like, yeah. I'm glad I bought him for 140. Um, but... What I'm going to do this episode is literally I'm only going to show you the top three boards. Like, let's say, how do I explain it? I'll only show you tier three prizes. So, I, I I'll literally show you these three games. And then I'm going to go on to literally beat seven more games. And then get to the same point, And then I'll show you those three games. So, let's get right into the first game. We're going to try our asses off to win. Like, like we're not going to lose a damn game. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. Unless you get bullshit animations like that. But, we shouldn't lose a damn game just because we're trying to get this Jeremy Grant. Like, this guy's gonna jump. I'm already up top. Kick it out. Boom. Jump. Or not. That was a dumbass take when he was wide open at the top of the key. He's gonna be opening the corner. I'm already here. There's no way you get that shot off. I'm already on Kobe. Get to the corner. I'm already here. He's just gonna try to baseline me the whole time, but that ain't gonna work. Wide open shot. Should be green bean. Yes, sir. Man, there's a new locker core that came out today. I don't know if it's still available at the time that I'm literally recording this video. Um, but I'll put it up on your screen right now. Alright, so this is the locker code for the free guaranteed maxed out pack. Because apparently they said it was a pink diamond locker code. But it turns out to be only literally maxed out packs. I mean, but we'll take it, I guess. So the locker code, I'm uh, not the locker code. The pack should be over here in our pack market. Um, where is it, where is it? Where you can get, like, Patrick Ewan. This is the new one. Patrick Ewan, LeBron, and all those guys like that. I don't think I'm gonna get any of those guys. But it is what it is, man. I have yet to see one shake out of one of any of these maxed out packs that I have opened. Straight up. Any of them. Hopefully I have better luck than me, but back to the game. Wide open shot, green bean. A lot of people are sweating a lot more in Triple Threat Online because everybody wants a Jeremy Grant, man. Like, his card and his stats look extremely good. A lot of people are still doing the, the John Morant, which I'm kind of surprised because I, I felt like a lot of people have, that I faced had him a lot. But I guess they didn't. Like, what the hell was that take? Wide open shot. I just have to be annoying. I'm going to be honest. I just have to be annoying. A lot of people are still doing the John Morant, like, challenges. Which I'm kind of surprised. I kind of felt that it was pretty damn easy. You get it done in, like, four hours or something like that. But a lot of people, like, are struggling with them. Give me that. It should be game right here. Yes, sir. Game over. Game one under the board, man. So, no Jeremy Grant on this board, and we're just going to go straight on to the next game. Wide open. Need those, RJ. Need those, RJ. Let's go. This guy doesn't seem like he's good. He doesn't know what he's doing, to be honest with you guys. He's going to snatch it back. He does this every single time. Don't think he knows that this ain't tripping off offline. Like, where is R What is RJ doing? I'm so confused what RJ thinks he's doing. I hate the hell defense in this game. I really do. A wide open. See? Wide open in that corner, man. Like, the game doesn't know when to help out and when to help out. Because I literally didn't even cross the kid. Stop dribbling and stop doing that behind the back every single time. It's not working, my boy. You can have the midi. You're not getting a three. No, I'm there. We're already gone. I'm going this way either way. I don't care. I'm running in a circle and I'm getting that open shot three. Never mind. We'll take the two. We'll take the two, man. I'll take anything I can get right now. I'm trying to end these games as quick as possible. Like, you're not getting an open shot like that. You're doing it every single motherfucking time. Like, I'm not moving, my boy. It's not happening. If you think you're getting an open three, you're out of your mind with Jerry Stackhouse. Nope. RJ's there. I'm not worried about it. We're already back here. Nope. Mm-mm. Oh, he's behind me. Green bean. Yes, sir. That's 2K. That's 2K for you. I'm sweating right now. I'm literally trying my ass off. For no reason either. Oh, I guess to try to get the games over faster. 
RJ, I don't know what the fuck that was, but you made it, my boy. We're doubling him because Killer, he wants to score with CP. I don't know why. He can have it. Wide open. Block. Give me that. And it's a foul. Nothing we can do about it, but we do get a rage quit just because of it because he thinks that I'm trying my ass off, which I am. So I don't really think we're going to get him, to be honest with you guys. And we don't. But we do get a diamond exchange, I guess. But that's only for one card, so it really doesn't even matter. And on to the next tier three reprises, which are going to probably be the last three tier prizes of the episode just because, dude, just getting up to tier three takes forever. It takes like an hour. Even making people rage quit. Unless people rage quit like the first 30 seconds of the game, then it'll take you like 10 minutes to get to the top. But majority of the people are trying their asses off, so it's not going to happen. All right, man. So we've been struggling. To be honest with you guys, we lost three games out of the seven we played. And this one is literally for a tier three reward. So we're gonna, we actually got to win because we're only 14 points away from getting reset. And if we get reset, I ain't doing another board today. Everybody is sweating today. Like straight sweating. Like, I literally had a game of Triple Threat Online last, like, no bullshit, like, 15 minutes. I'm not even lying. When it shouldn't even take that long. Give me that. Stop dribbling so damn much. Where are you going, my boy? Why is my bar on every f in game, man? So, we started off game four with a three-point shot. It's three to two right now. And, literally, we can't lose this game or we get reset completely. That's a wide open. Nope. That's a wide open three. Yes, sir. Another green bean. But basically, we're 14 points away from literally getting reset. So we cannot lose this game at all or we get reset completely. And I am not doing another board because everybody is sweating. I'm not even lying, bro. It, literally, a triple throw online game took me 15 minutes just now to win one game. Because people are literally changing their settings, everything. They're playing massive off ball. They're doing that stupid ass move you've seen right there and literally getting nowhere. So it really doesn't even matter if they do it like 30 times because it's not going to work. We're gonna get wide open. My man's wide open. Green B. Like, it's just that simple, man. Hopefully, the last two guys are just not, like, sweaty. Give me that. Nine to two start. That's another bucket right there, because ain't nobody stopping Cam on a fast break. Not even a fast break. That wasn't even a fast break. That's an easy steal. Give me that. That's an open three. I got the block. He did too much. Wide open. He's not even playing up. What is he doing? What is he doing? I'm gonna shoot that. Every single time he gives me it. Every single time. Should be an easy snatch back right here. Got him. Why is there help defense? Like, God damn it, 2K. Fix your shit, dude. Like, you literally are forced to play off ball. And then people, you got everybody complaining about off ball, but you have to run it. Because if you don't run it, people are going to be open in the corner every single time. Like, it's extremely annoying, man. I know I say this every single time I play Triple Threat Online, but it's just extremely annoying. That people score buckets because the computer just takes over. Another bucket. One more bucket. We're done with this game. So it's looking like we're going to be able to survive another game. As long as you don't face a complete sweat. That's an easy steal. I mean, that's a shot. I've literally been facing only a couple Cam Reddishes today. It's kind of weird, to be honest. I kind of expected a lot more people to have him. But not a lot of people have him. Now right, let's see if he's on our board. And once again, he is not on our board. So this is literally the last game. I didn't show you the second the last game just because literally I didn't get the reward or anything like that. So there's no point. Um, and once again, we don't show, he doesn't show up on the board. So, man, this fucking... They got to raise the odds on these boards, man. Because I didn't get it on any of the times that I've done this. I have yet to see one. Actually, no. The only person I have seen was Dan Issel. Out of any of these Triple Threat Online boards. And I want to check what my record is. Because, dude, it's ridiculous how, what the odds are on these, man. These shit's got to go up. See, one Galaxy Opal all this time. Like, dude, it's, it's unacceptable, man. But how much time people actually, like... There's people that grind this mode to try to get uh, the certain awards, man. Respect to them, because I'm not doing that crazy shit. Um, I have 360 wins and 72 losses. And literally, I have only seen Dan Isle. That's the only the person that I've seen. If you guys enjoyed this episode of No Money Spent, man. Tomorrow we get the dentist, hopefully, if we can afford the two cards that we're missing. And yeah, it's been your boy Lou. Hopefully you enjoyed, and we out to stand. Peace.